I want to tell you about my trip to the Middle East. In September 2018, a colleague and I got to go to Amman, Jordan. They asked me to perform one of my video pranks at the very beginning of the MENA ICT conference. You can see that video on my main channel. In this video, I want to tell you a little bit about the trip and show you some pictures. We left on a Friday morning and arrived Saturday afternoon. My first picture is a picture of some video equipment we brought, which was just barely under the 50 pound limit. I got some great views of Long Beach, of my neighborhood, and of the American Southwest. I had some great food since I was sitting in first class. Also, I like showing people this picture. You can't see them, but 16 of the 30 largest hotels in the world are in the frame of this one picture. Can you guess where it is? Yep, that's Las Vegas. After a layover in Chicago and a 10 plus hour flight, we arrived in Amman on Saturday evening, minus two bags. We went to dinner with the CEO and the host of the conference. The first thing that stood out to me about Amman was that all the buildings were made of white brick and stone. This was visible even from the air. Sunday was a day of filming, rehearsal, and final editing. But overshadowing the whole day was a slight worry about those two pieces of luggage that hadn't arrived. One of the cases had some audio equipment, so we had to borrow some. In the other bag was the suit I needed to wear to match the video. We had been told they'd arrive on the next flight 24 hours later, but communication was kind of sketchy. And as the day wore on, I got more and more worried. It wasn't until 9.30 p.m., just about 12 hours before the conference started, when we were literally in the car on the way to the store to buy another suit as a plan B. So it wasn't until 9.30 p.m. that my prayers were answered and the delivery company called and said it would be delivered to our hotel that night. Which it was, but not until about midnight. Monday was the day of the performance, which went really well. And like I said, you can watch that video on my main channel. It's quite a relief when it was done. Right afterwards, the host interviewed me briefly, and then we could relax and enjoy the rest of the conference. We had a nice Mediterranean dinner that night at a Lebanese place. On Tuesday, we spent the entire day going to visit Petra, which was about three hours away. On the drive there, the landscape looked really familiar and could easily be mistaken for the desert between LA and Las Vegas. Amman and Petra are actually about the same latitude as LA, but about 3,000 feet high. We really like seeing Petra. It's an ancient city with tombs and dwellings carved into the sandstone. There's a long, narrow gorge that leads into the city, then opens up into a wider valley. One of my favorite parts was riding a camel along the same road where people rode camels 2,000 years ago. In fact, some of the paving stones are still there. I was on a camel on the same road as somebody riding a camel 2,000 years ago. Afterwards, we had a late lunch before heading back. Wednesday, the journey home was fairly uneventful other than pizza at Giordano's in Chicago. So it was a good trip and I would love to go back someday. There was a lot we couldn't see in just four days. I recommend going if you ever have the chance. Finally, here's an interesting little puzzle. I noticed that a lot of the signs in Jordan had English and Arabic, and they always put the English first, even though the national language is Arabic. Now, why is that? Well, the answer is that it's not first in Arabic. So if you read Arabic, these signs look like the Arabic is first, but if you read English, it looks like the English is first. Pretty clever. Okay, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to hear more of my stories, and I read the comments on this channel, so if you have any questions or comments, let me know.